Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at file uploads with Livewire. So let's get into it. I have a simple user creation form, uh, which is basically very similar to what we had on our flash messages episode. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I do recommend you go check it out. I'll have the entire playlist in the card and in the description. So basically what I have done, guys, I have added a new input called profile picture. And today we're going to implement this profile picture upload functionality. So let's take a look at the code. Uh, on our component, we have a simple component with three public properties, as well as a method to actually handle the user creation, right? We do validation, we create the user, reset the inputs, and then show a flash, flash message. These are basically everything we have already done and covered on the last six episodes, as well as in the crash course video. And our HTML is also quite simple. We have a form. Basically, each of these is one of the inputs we have here, right? The name, email, and password. So I'm not going to be covering these. The main part is actually the, H the HTML for our image all upload input, okay? So we have an input of type file, and I also have given it an accept, so we are only able to upload a PNG and JPEG. Maybe you can add WebP, JPG, whatever file formats you like. And then last but not least, I have a section for our error messages, right? So in order to do file uploads with LiveWare, it's quite easy to do basically on your input that you can go ahead and give it wire model and pass it in a public property on your component that will store the uploaded image. So I'm going to say image. So it kind of matches this error message here. And now we need to go ahead and create this on our component. So on the HTML side, that's all we need to do basically. Just do a wire model image. So back here on our component, we can go ahead and create a new public property named image and give it any validation we like. So I'm going to say uh, maybe no label, sometimes, sometimes. And then I want it to be an image. Obviously, if you want it to be a file, you can say file and define, uh, you know, the different file formats you want to validate. And then I'm also going to give it a max size of maybe 1024, okay? 1024 kilobytes. And that's it. And now to handle the file upload itself is quite similar to how you would do it in Laravel, actually. So uh, first we need to check the file exists or the image exists just like this. And then to handle the upload, uh, we can access the image and it will have basically some helper methods to do the file upload for us or file saving for us. So the first one is called store. And this is very similar to how you actually store files in Laravel itself. And the store method basically saves the file for us. So the first argument is going to be the folder you want to store it in. So I'm going to say profile or maybe uploads, 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 and I cannot type today. So, and the second argument is going to be your disk. So I'm going to say the public disk. So if you have defined some, uh, you know, custom disk, you can add it here. So that's it. There is another alternative. You can also do store as, and this one will basically accept the file name as a second argument. So I can say file name dot JPEG, something like that. But generally, I think store should be enough. It will give you a unique random name. And this will basically return the file path. Okay, after it will go ahead, save it in your storage folder and give you the file path. So what we can do is actually store that inside our validated array. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that. So we can basically pass this validated to our user create. And I do have an image column on my users table, so I'm not going to be covering that, guys. I assume you guys uh, know how to do that. Okay, so I do have that on my users table. Last but not least, the last thing we need to, on, to do on our component is we need to give it a trait of with, with file uploads. And that's the last thing you need to do. And I do have it actually imported here, okay, as I was kind of playing around with it before this video. So that's it. We just need to handle the file upload, define the property, and then also add this trait. So let's go ahead and test it out, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload a file here. I do have my, I do have the Laravel logo here, actually. So I'm just going to upload it here if I can. And then I'm going to create a random user. And I'm going to click create. And it did work. Now, I do have my database here on Table Plus. And I'm actually, guys, very sorry that it's very small. For some reason, there is no Zoom functionality in Table Plus. I'm not sure why, but we did create a new user and the file name is also available here. And we can go ahead and check this out. I'll go inside our storage folder, public, and then uploads. 
and you can see this is the file I uploaded. Okay, so it does work. Now the validation is also done live. So if I go ahead and make this max be like 10 kilobytes, so I can go ahead and upload the exact same image again. It actually validates it live. So the image file, the image inputs are a bit different from text inputs in a sense that they are using wire model live. So the moment you upload the file, it would go ahead and upload it in the background and also do the validation, which is nice because sometimes the users upload the image or upload the file, but it will take them some time to actually cl click on submit form, right? So we are kind of saving some time by uploading it in the background, which is very nice. And again, it does give us a live validation. So very good. Now, I do think we need to do one more thing. I also need to reset it after we upload the file. I think I forgot to do that. Yeah. So that's nice. Now, one more thing you guys may want to do is maybe show a preview if you're doing an image upload only. And then it's also quite easy to do with LiveWire. So let's go ahead on, let's go to our HTML. And one thing we can do here is basically uh, display a preview image with LiveWire. And this is also easy to do. We can maybe add an if statement and then check if the image exists or if it's not null. And then to show the image, we can have an image tag and inside this, we can basically say image dot temporary temporary URL. Okay, so I always misspell this temporary URL, and I think yeah, R and L are small case. And I'm gonna also give it some uh, classes. I'm gonna say rounded W10 H10, and then maybe margin top of five. Also, let's make it block. Nice. So let's go ahead and see if this image preview works. Now, you guys do need to make sure you always have this except on your inputs because this image preview only works with images, okay? If the, your users, if you don't have this and your users go ahead and upload some random file format, PDF or something, uh, this will give you an error, okay? Make sure you always have this except and then add some sort of image file format. Very important. Okay, let's go ahead and test this out again. I'm going to upload another file, guys. Uh, something like this. And as you can see, we get the image preview. Now, we are still getting this validation, so I'm going to go ahead and reset this back to like what we had, 1024. And I'm going to try again, okay? As you can see, we get the preview. I can upload one of my YouTube thumbnails, actually and also works, right? So just like that, guys, we can add a simple preview to our image uploads. Now, you can also do this using Alpine GS. I know from, I believe, Jetstream, a lot of our Jetstream actually uses Alpine to do the image upload and preview. So that is something you can do as well. Uh, so yeah, that's one more thing. Now, if you would like to do progress, like to show an indicator that the file is uploading in the background, because right now we don't have that, we can also do that with Liver, Liver alone and Basically, Liveware has some things called loading states or loading indicators. We haven't covered those yet, but for image uploads, it's quite easy to do. Maybe you can have some HTML element. Any HTML element will work. So I'm going to have a div and inside it, I'm going to have a span saying uploading. And then maybe I'll give it some be text green 500. And to make this HTML, right now, if I reload the page, this HTML is showing all the time. So what I want to do is only show it when we are uploading the file. And what you have to do is basically, uh, this is quite easy to do. Okay, so what you can do is basically say on your HTML element wire loading. And what this does is it will only show it when we are actually performing some action on our component, maybe sending, submitting a form or updating something. But then we only want to show this when we are uploading an image. So what you can do is say wire uh, target and then pass in the property name. And what this will do is basically anytime you're updating the image or uploading it, it will show this HTML, okay? Now this is a bit hard to see to be honest because uh, I'm on local development so file uploads are very fast. Let me see if it's on slow 3G or not. Yeah, I do have it on slow 3G, but let's try again. Let me find a bigger, the biggest file I have here. I think this is the biggest file I have. And it happened very quickly, guys. I, I hope you guys saw that, but I'll upload another file and we can see. Like very quickly showed loading, okay? Just like that. So 
if you're, for example, your users are uploading a very big file, maybe a few megabytes, and it's taking a while, you can basically also show them an uploading indicator. So that is quite nice to do. But we will have a separate video co covering loading indicators. So this one is just a quick preview, but I will have a different video just covering all the different things you can do with loading indicators because it does have quite a lot of uh, different configurations. You can give it like only show it after like, let's say 500 milliseconds, things like that. So I'm not going to be covering that today. But yeah, that is it, guys, for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed uh, what we covered today and learned something new. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe so you get notified of the latest videos. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.